All right. Hey, buddy. Good seeing you again today. Um, I feel like this is uh, was a great day of um, kind of like culmination of the other times we have met of just kind of really getting on the same page and then, you know, seeing it happen. So I just feel like there's um, and, I, you know, I think I told you in one of the last messages I sent you when going through your swing of just getting to a point where we're kind of dialed in on you know, certain things in your golf swing and improving those. And I just feel like, you know, like I've told you, like, I don't ever want you to stop asking questions. I feel like I'm the same way as you. Like, I feel like it's fine to be analytical. I think you'd find a lot of coaches out there will say, oh, no, you can't do that. You got to just um, – it can mess up your game if you're thinking too much about it. But well, to me, that's idiotic. Like, it's – that. That is not that's giving that's saying you don't have the ability to tune yourself in different over the golf shot. Um, like we are not smart enough. I think that's telling people that they can't handle being analytical, and they can't handle understanding where their body is and in space and the club in space. Yet, although that's not good about thinking about all that stuff during our swing, but yet that person or whoever it is doesn't have the ability to change to that during their golf swing to get out of that thought and maybe move to something external or whatever it is that allows them to be successful. I mean, I just think it's just really is a shot on, you know, people when you say that to be like, they don't have that ability. I think it just, I don't know. I think it's just terrible. Um, you know, I, I think what they probably see is most people making terrible decisions and thinking all of that stuff when they're playing. So to me, it's probably like the education just isn't there. So anyways, I don't ever want you to stop asking questions because you, you need to understand what it is um, you're doing and why. That's just how your brain works, so that's great. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, it was fun, fun to watch. I felt like you did good. Um, you know, I'm glad you're starting to see these pictures and video look like you want. Um, and I feel like you do kind of, I know you talk about positions, you work on positions, but I feel like... I still feel like you're swinging. Like, you know, I think you you understand golf enough to know that, yes, you know, we could talk positions all day, but those are – we hit those positions during a swing, you know. So it's like, do they matter? Yeah, right? But, you know, you can't build from position to position to position always and say then you have that swing on top of it, right? So it's like – I think you have a grasp of the difference of what positions are, but yet how they do come and involve in our golf swing, which is the key verse just positional thinking at all times. Um, I think you're very well aware of what the difference is. So um, let's take a look at this here. They have, I don't think you saw this last time I did this, how this is. It's a little different. I don't know if I don't like it because I'm not used to it yet. Or um, I don't know yet, but I'm not a huge fan right now of how this is down here, but maybe I'll just got to get used to it. Teach this old dog new tricks. I mean, I, and still get the numbers, but I feel like I have, there's some parts that are a little better, but okay. So let's look at this, a two and a half inch sway off of it. Um, now, remember, this is your driver. So your chest is negative one, three. So this is what I can do. I can click on it and go, okay. This is where you're negative two and a half, and we can look at it and say, okay, so a two or average is between what? Barely over zero to 1.25. Uh, maybe that's one and a half, no, probably 1.25. So it's saying you're a little bit over, but here's the thing, like, let's see where you get to at the top, okay? Like, I, you know, let, let's see where you're at the top before we make a huge judgment and see how you're recentering. Because you like that feeling. I, I think you're doing okay. I have not looked at this yet. Let's see. I could be wrong. I'm not. And you're not. So very good. I mean, look how you are recentered re completely. Your pelvis is back to right over the top. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely perfect. So I, I'd, I, would, I would say this. I wouldn't love to see you going... Um, beyond that two and a half inches because then there's just more of a slide that starts going the other way. So I would say that's a number I would keep my eye on and not want you going basically beyond that. In saying that, I would not 
you know, um, worry about it. Like you're doing good with what you're doing right now. Okay. Well, I, the, I think that's, what's good about this 3d app is I can look at these numbers and say, okay, cool. And you can hear it too and know you're in a good spot. But I think where this, these numbers can be bad is if you let any of that get in your head and go, Oh man, Eric, so I don't want to go over two and a half, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. And then we have this thing to just kind of check it and to see how you're doing over time, right? Um, you know, are you going to be screwed up if you go half inch more or half inch less? I don't think so. I think you'd probably get back close to here. I think just the more you have, the harder it is to deal with. But this is nice to see. I mean, this is really nice to see. Um, I mean, big change from where you were. <laughs> um when we started, so that's that's really cool. Um, okay, let's see you coming down. Okay, so this is driver. I don't know if I've even shown you all these different views, which are, are just really cool to look at. One of the, my favorite ones to look at is, um, depending on what the person is doing, like if they have a big sway and stuff, you can really see where they're moving. Um, like if I go back. I think this is just a cool view to get to right here. Um, or this above one. Look at your hands. I could position there and look at you there. So this has to be right before impact, I bet. Um, you know, you got down the line. Yeah, I think um, I... You know, down the line gives you a lot of value. I also, you know, I feel like you need both, but um, I feel like I can drive so much from face on too. So there's your tilt back. Um, I, I, mean, I just want to see something here. Yeah, see, okay, I thought that foot was a little off because you you do have your, that foot looks square in the avatar and I I would think, I would have told you something if that left foot wasn't pointed out like that. So you're good. So let's see, let's look at your top one up here just so you can kind of see how that release is happening um, with your right hand and getting to that shaking position. Oh, this tool's hard to do this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good release. So, you, like I told you, you get good really here, right? I get a nice release that there. Now let's see, see, look how that's not rolling. You're, that, I guarantee this, I can't get, I guarantee that thing's pointed you're shaking hands perfect here. Look at this. It's not rolled over. You're going to see the cross. Like, so you were talking about that burnout in the arms, right? Um, like in between your arm, your, your arms are there, right there too. That, but that's, if you look at where your right hand is, I think people can get this confused and think your hand had to roll into that position. But think about it. It doesn't. You're shaking hands with your right hand there. See that? I think it just gives the impression and view to people when they look at it. I'm not saying you, but that there's this roll that happened to get you right here. But as you know from us working today, there couldn't have been because you are, you can tell in this you're shaking hands. It hasn't rolled over. But yet the club's face is closed. So, I mean, it's just perfect. Um, you know, like... I like that. I love the move. It, 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 this is like super athletic, I think. Just that bounce off that you have right here and how you're recentering nicely and getting that pelvis just working good there. You know, like, so the fun thing is, is, you know, I feel like this swing is looking so good, but you, we have more to do. Like, to, like... I still think, and I, I don't know if it's something you want to do at some point, but I, f I still feel like you have, as big as you are, um, and once you're healthy, 
you know, and feel like I, you know, you're not, I feel like not getting tired. I, I, that's a nice shoulder turn too, buddy. Like, I feel like you can, um, I feel like you, you can become a bomber of this thing. And like, if, you know, if you think about it, if you're going 110, I mean, to me, that's like, it's not the one you even think about now, but just think about if you add it on, even if you get up to like 118, you're talking about almost, that's about 25 yards more. Um, and then hitting, you know, you're learning how to hit, you know, more from, you know, 60, 50, 40, those like closer yards, I think, to help you with that. So you can take advantage of that because, I mean, I just feel with how big you are and your strength, like it's going to be good to get you, uh, um, why not? I don't know. That's the way I look at it. Like more power. Like to me, it's, it, the whole goal isn't, um, the, the goal doesn't start at speed, right? Unless, like, unless you're a long hitter, that's all you're going for. But to me, the goal is, the way it works is that you're building a better golf swing. And then therefore, through the better golf swing, through maximizing your anatomy better and the way you move better, that it's a byproduct. Okay, so it's like, so by getting your lower body to work a little better, you know, more power off that front foot and stuff like that, which will start doing more mat work and just seeing where your vertical forces are and your other um, rotational forces and horizontal are. We'll, we'll get measurements more on that stuff and then say, okay, so because all the, what, you know, back to my point, we're maximizing then, right? Maximizing your power. So it's always like, why wouldn't we at some point go that route to maximize who you are as a golfer? And what's the byproduct of it? More yardage, right? So if you can be that golfer that is, you know, hitting it, um, you know, carrying it 310, 315, 320, whatever it is, that opens up a whole new ball game for you. You know, I think you, then you bring in, you know, some, I think, I don't remember if you said 66 was a low, but I don't know. I think you bring in 63s at that point if you can do that. If you can go, th you obviously have the ability to shoot some, get some birdies. Um, so adding this distance is going to give you more. But piece by piece, right? So I don't know what else to say here. You're doing great. <laughs> um, I'm just going to play this for you so you have it in case you want to record just like the swing. Um, or in case you want to have just this part to like copy it off. I think I'll do it like, I'll give you, um, I'll just do it down the line one for you. <laughs> Cool. So I, I would say the one thing to be cognizant about is I just look at this. I feel like with your clubs, you can do, I think by just thinking about it, you can do a little bit better with how you're using that right ankle a little bit. Like I feel like you could roll in. Say you're quickly up there on the toe. Like I, I don't think it's far off. I really don't. I think you're pretty close. I, your right knee seems to stay in pretty good too, which let's look at it on here on the bottom. I think it could be in more. See, like that. So if we can get that feeling of having, when you have that club under there, when you did it, you're like, how long do I have to do it? I was like, you just got to get it really started. So it just has to be that first like, roll onto that inside and then you you'll notice like you use more of the inside of the shoe the whole time like you think if somebody looked at it and say oh that's pretty good yours and i'd say it is pretty good it's but it can get a little bit better okay um it's something i love doing i know I, some coaches i don't i know don't push this stuff but um i see great benefits from it i really do um and, and golfers i that te i teach this too um it, it benefits 
where you are with your um, body with stopping early extension at all. Um, and that's, I mean, that's one of the biggest ones, but it, you know, I, I find after people get used to it that it benefits with power too. Um, so but I, I think the power is just through the, the better synchronization of the golf swing. So my opinion on that one. So, all right, buddy. Um, if I don't talk to you, I don't even want to say luck, um, but or best wishes because I know it's going to go well. So um, I just I can't wait to hear um, how it went and let me know or I'll send you a message. But send me one if you can. Um, I'd like to hear how things went. So best of luck.